Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. Look what we got here. This is going to be a Grip Boost Speed Flex helmet. Big shout out to Matt, the CEO over there. He doesn't know me and I don't know him, but I know his equipment and I know that those gloves are amazing. We don't even sell them, but we are putting together this incredible Grip Boost inspired off of the Cheetah 5.0 gloves. We're gonna do some really awesome things to this. Everything started on this helmet with the Hydro Dip. So we had this custom Hydro Dip and then painted and clear coated. We're throwing on Grip Boost front and rear bumpers. We had this amazing custom Grip Boost visor made. The goal here is to make something so good that Tyreek Hill just has to put this on and shout us out. Come on, Tyreek, come on. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, you know what we do. We make custom helmets for companies and for customers. And today it's all about Grip Boost. And I'm trying something unique here. And you're gonna to get to watch me struggle with this, but I basically had these large decals made out of this 20 mil material now. It's not as sticky as a Grip Boost glove, but it's, it's a close second. This way it kind of looks like somebody's catching the football like this. I think, I think it's going to come out awesome. However, lining this up just right, getting the tilt right, tucking these in. <sighs> Whose idea was this anyway, right? Oh, well. All good things are worth doing right. So I'm going to just start on the back of this thing and get the real hard part out of the way. So this helmet is inspired by the Grip Boost Yellow Cheetah Stealth 5.0 football gloves. Grip Boost, the number one grip in football, so their website says. I know they do things with hockey, golf, baseball, football, of course. And for what it's worth, I have tried on these gloves and I've also seen their variety. And I am no glove expert, but it does not take an engineer to realize when you put these on your hands, they are tacky. Man, they just feel so good and they wrap around your fingers uh, without any excess uh, material that can get in the way. They really are legit pieces of equipment. When you put them on your hands, you instantly know their quality. I am very much looking forward to see which gloves Tyreek Hill is going to be wearing on the Dolphins this year, because you know, obviously, they're grip boost, but what kind of design? I've seen online uh, some of the artwork. I've seen them before, but I, you know, who knows? People just speculate, so we shall see. Okay. Whew. I need a breather after that one. This took a little doing but I really wanted it to be perfect. And now, check that out. Catching the, the ball, catching the helmet, super cool. Man, I am very, very satisfied with the way that that came out. Now, you'll see I have two different face masks out here. One of them is the SF2BDSW and the SF2EGSW. I kinda, I just couldn't decide. Um, it's tough because the Green Bay Gold the yellow with the yellow with this chin strap, that's, that's pretty tough. It really is, that's tough looking. And the black would look cool too with this visor on here, a little more intimidating. I really don't know what to do. I really don't know. Now, Grip Boost got quite a boost from the University of Maryland. They were integral, the big brains there on getting Grip Boost. I want to say started. I think that they were integral at coming up with their proprietary, I think it's a polymer blend of some sort that makes the glove tacky. It is just suiting, I think, that I put on this Maryland chrome state flag right in the middle.
blackout American flag. We sell these and these state flags and all that stuff on our website. In this case, that just has to be. And of course, the green gridiron seal of approval. And I think now that I see the red gone, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. It's gonna be a whole bunch of yellow, white, and black on this thing. Our hope is all the guys and gals at Grip Boost love this helmet. Now these are cool, check this out. To keep everything black, white, and yellow, we converted these strap locks. We started selling these in white now, and oh man, they just look so much better painted, don't they? Now I know otherwise they come black, it's fine, it still would have worked, but with this helmet, with this scheme, I think that this is the good choice. It's always fun, you know, to see ideas come to life, but when you're building a helmet for a company that's known and respected and also in the same exact industry, it's a little more special, you know? It's like, we take all these seriously, but I really, really wanted this one to be awesome. And I think it's turning out to be that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, <laughs> holy crap. One of the most unique helmets that I've ever made, and we've made a lot of helmets on this show. What do you guys think? Matt, big shout out, my friend. I hope that you enjoy this along with your partners over there at Grip Boost. But this is going on my head first. Now, this is an XL because I wanted to make it big enough for Tyreek Hill to get this thing on his head and take some pictures. Wouldn't that be amazing? Come on, let's tag Tyreek and see if we can make that happen. If you made it to the end of this video, please let me know what you think of this thing. Do you love this color scheme? Are you a fan of Grip Boost? And if you've been using their products, how long have you been using them for? Because it's not just football. They have a bunch of other stuff, baseball and the gel still that they sell. So it's amazing stuff. And maybe we'll carry their products one day. Who knows? Until then, we're happy to do this for the guys. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Till next time. Cheers.